Astronomers finally found a white hole. Many, if not most, objects in the infinitely large universe are likely to completely evade human awareness. Even Einstein could only accomplish so much in terms of predicting what might or might not exist in the universe. In other words, there are some entities that, according to theory, shouldn't exist, yet might, in reality, do so. One such object is the white hole, which is the black hole's theoretical antagonist. How destructive is a white hole? Well, let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today, we'll be taking a look at what astronomers just found, a white hole. Make sure to stick around till the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video. It helps us a long way. A white hole can be thought of as a black hole in reverse, which is the simplest way to picture one. Not just black holes with a new paint job, white holes also exist. In spite of their name, they are really believed to resemble black holes in appearance, a cosmic twin who is nearly identical even. It would be difficult for an approaching astronaut crew to distinguish between one and the other. However, astronauts would be able to identify a white hole right away because there wouldn't be a powerful gravity well that threatened to snare them as they approached one in the outer reaches of space. This is due to the fact that black holes and white holes are conceptually the functional polar opposites of one another. White holes don't have any kind of pool, whereas black holes have the ability to suck up all nearby stuff and crush it with enough force to tear it apart at the atomic level. Consequently, how is a white hole the opposite of a black hole? Everything depends on a black hole's main feature. Black holes actually have a gravitational field that is so powerful that no matter or radiation, not even light, can escape from them, despite how they are often depicted as sucking neighboring things into a cosmic abyss. Simply more mysterious this time. The opposite would be true in the case of a white hole. Nothing could enter. It is a cosmic gate through which neither light nor substance may pass. The stuff inside a white hole can escape, but there is no way for it to come back in. In contrast, a white hole would continuously spew matter and light. There are a number of hypotheses as to how white holes could originate because it is thought that they are closely related to black holes. Russian cosmologist Igor Novikov's work from 1964 is credited with developing the theory of white holes, building on the work of German physicist Karl Schwarzschild, who characterized the space-time geometry of the empty space surrounding any spherical object. Novikov proposed the concept of white holes as a type of cosmic counterpart to black holes as part of a solution to Einstein's field equations. Einstein's field equations were solved by Schwarzschild, who also made the prediction that if a mass were compressed inside a critical radius, today known as the Schwarzschild radius, its gravity would become so intense that not even light could escape, that is, that it would turn into a black hole. However, Schwarzschild's description also included the potential for a hypothetical twin black hole, as well as what we now refer to as wormholes, folds in space-time that objects in space can theoretically pass through to almost instantly cross great distances, in between the event horizons of a black hole and a hypothetical negative version of the singularity. Martin David Kruskal, a mathematician, expanded Schwarzschild's work to include a mirror of the black hole singularity in 1960, but Novikov was the one who transformed this into the idea of a white hole. Because no one could come up with a mechanism for how they would actually form, a black hole is formed when a star collapses, but the opposite of this, a black hole erupting into a star, would seem to violate the laws of entropy. Physicists until more recently treated the possibility of white holes as a mathematical exercise. They could be shown to be mathematically feasible, but were seen as being impossible in real life. According to a different theory, white holes aren't identical to black holes, rather they're what happens to them for a very, very short time after they die. However, Stephen Hawking's research showed that black holes can indeed emit thermal radiation, called Hawking radiation, as a result of the continuous conversion of quantum vacuum fluctuations close to the black hole into pairs of particles and antiparticles. The negative antiparticle falls in while the positive particle escapes, depleting the mass of the black hole. Hawking radiation gradually lowers the mass and rotational energy of black holes, which in theory might lead to their evaporation. But there are a lot of questions raised by this. One of them is, what will happen to the data that a black hole devoured if it can evaporate away? This knowledge cannot escape, and it cannot be deleted according to general relativity and quantum mechanics. According to some theoretical physicists, the answer is that it exits through a white hole and enters a wormhole. 
Some physicists believe that once a black hole becomes small enough, they can transform into a white hole. This white hole, like the TARDIS, would be minuscule on the outside, but the inside would contain much of the information swallowed by the black hole, which would then emerge over time. Others, however, have proposed that the Big Bang's explosion was caused by the emergence of information from a white hole. White holes may exist in the universe, although there is currently no evidence to support this. The white hole is only an idea at this point, only theoretical. In a publication released in 2011, researchers reported the closest thing to a potential glimpse of a white hole in space. Known gamma ray burst GRB 060614 may have been a white hole's remains, according to scientist theories. Apart from that, all the writing on white holes that we've seen is totally theoretical. Despite this, some members of the scientific community still hold out hope that white holes will one day be proven to exist. In spite of the fact that Einstein predicted the existence of black holes in his General Theory of Relativity, which was published in 1915, it wasn't until 1971 that the first black hole was actually discovered. Some scientists are optimistic that we will one day be able to detect this incredibly unusual astrological event, while others believe that white holes are merely a mathematical exercise. Even so, we might not notice it when we do. White holes and black holes can act in ways that are almost identical, according to Stephen Hawking, who made this observation. Our existing knowledge of astrophysics accounts for a large portion of the ambiguity around white holes. It is believed that white holes are extraordinary, unstable by nature. There is no chance that a cosmic event that releases so much stuff could last long enough to be visible in an astronomer's telescope. According to certain theories, when white holes start to eject matter, the system would quickly collapse into a black hole once the expelled material collided with any matter in orbit. This could potentially lead to an unending loop of white holes converting into black holes and vice versa. Similar to how one must expand their grasp of classical gravity in order to comprehend what occurs at the singularity at the center of a black hole, it may be necessary to view white holes via a certain theoretical framework in order to establish their existence. The concept of loop quantum gravity, which is now a far-fetched theory on the periphery of mainstream physics, is the closest thing to this that we have seen. This theory proposes that the underlying idea of space-time, which underlies Einstein's revolutionary theory of relativity, is made up of a number of fundamental loops that connect everything in a never-ending web of nodes. According to this hypothesis, these loops connect space's blocks and could stop dying stars from recoiling and transforming into points of infinite density, preventing the formation of white holes. Similar to some of the theories surrounding GRB 060614, many of the supernovae astronomers have observed over the years may turn out to be indicators of a white hole's creation and demise if the loop quantum gravity approach to white holes is proven to be feasible. And that ends our episode. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below your thoughts, and don't forget to like today's video. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.